Today, we're going to take a look at Seeker, a jailbreak tweak that extends Apple's native audio scrubbing to a control center and lock screen. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today, we're going to take a look at Seeker. Now, this is a $2.99 jailbreak tweak that is available in the Big Boss repo. It is available for devices running iOS 8.4 and newer. This is an extremely full-featured audio scrubber that extends what Apple currently has, not only in the music app, but in many third-party apps as well. To give you an idea, first off, if you scrub through music in the audio app, you're gonna notice it's kind of jumpy depending on which setting you have it on. The little line, the seeker line, is actually very small. It's kind of hard to grab, and there's not many other options. Now, Seeker adds a ton of new functionality to this, but not in the music app. It actually adds it to the lock screen and to the control center. Once you install Seeker, it'll give you a little pop-up window letting you know to check out settings to configure Seeker to your likings. Now there are a ton of different features here, so we're going to touch on them all briefly. First off, Live Seek will actually show the current live time at the end as you're seeking through the timeline normally will not show until you release. Incremental controls will add two new buttons that are similar to the podcast application that'll allow you to jump forward or backward a little bit. Media controls, which will allow you to seek forward and backwards continuously by pressing and holding the next track or previous track buttons. Smart previews, which are a little bit hard to explain, but basically when scrubbing, normally when you release, it'll be a little bit ahead of where that audio preview was. So this will prevent that by jumping you a little bit back in the correct spot. Smooth seek, which smoothens the operation of the slider by making it the high speed scrubbing all the time so it doesn't jump around round seeker kind of likens it to the older ios where it's a little round button instead of that thin line tap to seek which allows you just to tap on that play line and jump ahead to that spot hardware increments which allows you to jump forward and backward using the volume sliders with no need for activator to be installed increment labels which is kind of another shortcut that allows you to scrub by holding on the elapsed time and the time remaining which is mainly used for some oddball substrates that don't work correctly you can brighten up the labels and you can append the name of the application that is playing to the end of the song title with playing label. Now that we've gone through the exhaustive list of features, let's see it in action. Now, as I mentioned, it will not work from the music application itself, but we're going to go ahead and play some music. We got some good old Gaelic Storm. We're going to open up our control center. You'll notice we have new buttons between the track forward and back that are the uh, increment controls. We also have that round button instead of the thin line for our seeker. We can see it rolls smoothly now, and we have our live preview of time remaining and expended at the beginning and end. When I now hold on to the previous button, you can see the playhead will slowly start to move backward, and this is intelligent, so the more you hold it, the faster it increases in its movements. Now this also works on the lock screen as well, so we can go ahead and close our notification center and lock our phone. Now when I turn it back on, you will see we have our Gaelic Storm album still playing. If I double tap on the bottom volume rocker or the top volume rocker, you can see it will jump forward or backward five seconds. This is a little shaky. Sometimes I do increase or decrease the volume when I'm attempting this though. Now Seeker isn't just for adding these features to the Apple Music app. It's more about bringing these features to third-party applications that used to not support them, like Spotify, SoundCloud, Google Play, Kobitz Music, Tidal, Audible, Downcast, Overcast, and Instacast, and hopefully more will be added in the future. It also works with many notable Substrate extensions as well, such as Acapella 2, Oxo Legacy Edition, Oxo 3, Braggy Doe, Colorflow 2, Inside, Feedback, Lilac, and Sang. If you're interested, you can pick this up in the Big Boss repo for only $2.99. Please let us know in the comments about what you think of Seeker. Other than that, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.